Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a motherboard on a MacBook Air. The model is A1466. If you're not sure where to look for the model, take a look at the back of your computer. There's a fine print that says A1466. I already did some of the process to get into the, uh, the computer, so I'm just going to explain it here over the video. Um, what you need to have and how you're going to get along with it. You might want to pause the video and then continue with it as you go along. All right, so this is a Pentelope P5. Uh, it has five point on it, Pentelope P5. You have to remove four screw here on the top, two here in the middle, and four screw at the very bottom. Once you have removed all the screws using a Pentelope P5, then you're going to move on to the next step. After, just going to remove the back cover and here you'll be seeing the entire laptop, the internal part of it. Next step is to disconnect the battery. What you can do is just slide the connector down towards yourself and there are going to be five screws. One, two, three, four, five. Remove the five screws. I believe they run on a Torque T5 or Torque T T4, I forgot one of those sizes. And then you can just remove the screw, okay? Once you remove that screw, remove the uh, entire battery and put the battery on the side here. There was the uh, hard drive that was pre-installed. I already removed it. I tried to extract the data. Uh, this hard drive here is only 128, which is too small, 128 gigabyte and I remove it, I'll be upgrading it to the uh, 256 here. So I already extracted the data and transfer it over to the 256. Um, that's what I did so far. So the only thing left, what I need to do is remove the motherboard and replace it with this uh, refurbished motherboard here, the used motherboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the cable for your LCD screen, you need to flip open that metal clipper and slide it out. Go ahead and disconnect this uh, cable as well. Okay, that is the speaker, disconnect that. And that is for the Wi-Fi, so just lift it straight up, the cables. Okay, that is for the webcam, slide it down, and the DC jack connector for this um, power, and that is the um, clipper, make sure the clipper is open and slide that CPU fan connector, or uh, the, the flex cable to the right. Once you have disconnected all that, I'll be using a T5. Torque T5 and let's remove the screw here. There is going to be a hidden screw right there so let's go ahead and remove that screw we are reusing the same cpu fan uh, therefore we need to have that screw transfer later on okay now we just remove the cpu fan and the little screw is hidden right underneath the wi-fi connector here so go ahead and remove that Okay, the entire motherboard should just come right off. But before we do that, making sure that the trackpad connector, the flex cable is open as well as the motherboard backlight cable. So slide it out. And that should be it. 
and the entire motherboard will just come right off. Now the replacement motherboard, what you want to do is you want to slide it in first and making sure all the cables are sitting above the motherboard, okay? What I like to do is to make sure that the uh, the USB connector is all the way pushed in but tuck it in underneath the frame while I'm closing it down at the same time is to make sure that the um, that the cable for your speaker is sitting above the motherboard so I kind of go in underneath and try to get that get that thing out Okay, once I have that ready, the backlight, the trackpad, and the heat sink, making sure. Looks like there was a bend on the heat sink. I just have to re bend it again. Put that hidden screw here. Once the hidden screw is in place, I then go ahead and hide that Wi Fi cable right underneath the motherboard. Okay, now I can go ahead and put some of the screw holding down the motherboard. You might want to come and double check, making sure that all the cables are visible sitting on top of the motherboard because that is the important thing. You do not want them to be pinched down underneath the motherboard. Okay, last but not least, that is the final screw. I'm gonna go back in. Let me find the CPU fan. Go back on top of it. What I like actually is to make sure that I have the flex cable installed first. So make sure the clipper is open. Slide this little cable all the way to the connector and then press it down using the clipper, clipping it down. Now I have the CPU fan installed correctly, position it, have the screw going back on top of that. There are three screws, okay. And then the DC jack connector, slide it in and slide this one in here which is the webcam push it all the way in and do not forget the uh, the cable that goes on top of this they are just like lego they snap on top of it so we're just going to make sure that you have the connector sitting in the right position and snap it back on all right, open up the uh, the clipper for your trackpad and slide the flex cable all the way in and then close it down. Wish I missed the first one. Let's try again. Okay, and close it down, which is good. Let's work on the uh, keyboard light. Slide it in. Close it down and the speaker here on the top left and the Wi-Fi. The long cable goes to the very bottom and again you just have to match the circle connector going back on top of it nice and easy.
Okay, and then the shorter one stays on the top. And you might want to come back and finish up the Wi-Fi cable, making sure it is not exposed to the screen. Uh, on the other side of it, you want to tuck it underneath and then push it in. Okay, last but not least, the LCD screen. Close it. I'll be installing the 150 okay hard drive slide it in i have all the screws here that is for my hard drive Here comes the battery. Make sure the connectors slide all the way back to the top and the screw. So there's one here one on the top right corner and two smaller one at the bottom. I think I lost one of the small screw for the battery, which is okay. And then have the back cover going back in. I just want to double check, making sure, oh, there you go. That's what I found. A tiny little screw okay and then have all the screws going back to the back cover and that should be it so it's just a process of replacing the motherboard and that is for the macbook air 1466 i hope this video is helpful if you do find the video helpful please smash the like button thanks for watching until next time bye now